Karen Petro has a successful career in business, a faithful seeing eye dog helping to cope with her impaired sight. There are um, many ways to work around that disability, which I've been very fortunate enough to find. That's not to say that a cure is not a critical, critical issue. Karen is among the 100,000 Americans who suffer from a hereditary illness called retinitis pigmentosa, or RP. Many people have described it as standing in a long, dark tunnel and seeing a light at the end. To those who've gone totally blind from RP, an artificial retina now offers a revolutionary advance. It's called Argus 2. A video camera mounted on dark glasses sends a wireless image to a grid of 60 electrodes that's surgically implanted in the patient's damaged retina. After bypassing the destroyed retina cells, the images are transmitted straight to the optic nerve, then relayed to the brain. Kathleen Blake was one of the test subjects. I was able to actually point the moon out in the sky. Researchers worked on the system for 20 years. The key of this is not only the hardware, but the software. How do you take an image from a camera and convert it into this neural code, this Morse code of the eye, and then stimulate the nerve cells in the retina? The device can only transmit black and white images, and it's most effective at discerning sharp contrasts in light and shape. But it's a blessing for those who've lost all their sight. It may be a, a basic vision which allows them to gain independence, um, navigate around a room, and change the quality of life for them substantially. Once the technology improves and more electrodes can be fitted on the retina, the outlook for people like Karen could brighten even more. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.